Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and I've got some great news for Unreal Engine users. And it seems like I've started a lot of videos that way lately because frankly, there have been a ton of great, well, announcements for Unreal Engine users and today is no exception. So uh, there was a product called Twin Motion. This is all about arch visualization and that's what this is all about today. So we're gonna do a little bit of backstory. And one of the things that happened recently is Epic Games acquired Quixel. Quixel makes Megascans. Megascans is a giant library of PBR based textures and materials that are ready to go. And what they did is they made that entire 10,000 plus item uh, of assets available completely free uh, for Unreal Engine users. So as long as you're using Unreal Engine, you get massive access to this mega scans library. So you got a huge number of textures to work from because of that acquisition. So again, good day to be an Unreal Engine user. Well, another purchase they did, this was back in May of 2019, is they bought a company called Twin Motion. Now Twin Motion was actually built on top of Unreal Engine, but it's for ArchViz or arch architectural visualizations. Basically, this is the kind of stuff that engineers and architects use to mock up what their buildings will look like as part of the sales pitch and so on. And so it was a very focused product on that segment. And well, in November, basically the same time they bought Quixel, they also said that um, Twin Motion was going to be basically merged in with Unreal Studio, that they were announcing the free extension and so on. Uh, Datasmith was integrated in, so that ArchViz functionality was all kind of being built into the main branch of Unreal Engine 2.4, or sorry, 4.24. And so now when you know, if you want to make a new project, you'll see in addition to game projects, there's now engineering projects and so on. Well, that left a whole bunch of Twin Motion's features and functionality sort of swinging in the winds, especially this giant asset set library they had of all these uh, materials that were used for Twin Motion. Well, today, Epic Games have announced that they are all available free. Yep, Unreal Engine Marketplace, you head on over there, you can buy them. They are uh, ginormous, by the way, eight gigabytes in size. And then when you add them in, it's got to compile like 4,000 shaders. I just did this on two of my computers. I think my, my hydro bill this month is going to go up by, you know, 100% because of this. Uh, so do be aware, it's an eight gigabyte download or more than eight gigabyte download. And then once you've got it, um, you have to add it to a project and it adds all eight gigs into the project. Now on the bright side, I've done it for you. So if you want to see what they look like. I actually opened up this um, museum showcase they did for it so I can showcase some of the materials to you uh, using this. So we're going to go ahead we'll play this guy. All right. We'll maximize this out. So what you can see is the various different material libraries have all been kind of showcased in their own. So these are all high quality materials that are available for you to use as long as you use Unreal Engine completely free. So as you can see, there's a lot of different brick textures to work from. Uh, so what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, about 20, 25 brick textures. And then to switch over, we have a bunch of ceiling textures to work from. So obviously, they're very focused towards architectural visualization stuff, uh, but that's kind of common to games. How many times are you doing an indoor scene or an architectural scene, or perhaps you actually work in architectural visualizations? As you can see, some really cool concretes going on here. Uh, we got a bunch of decals or decals, like a stop sign here. We've got some lines on the road, some leaves that you can do on the ground. So regardless of what you're using this for, if you're using this for visualization or if you're using this for game development, this material library is definitely quite useful. We got some emissive materials here. Uh, not sure what you're gonna use a lot of these for, but, and maybe a bit of a epileptic warning there, should have kind of came in advance. Uh, we got a number of different fabrics available here. So again, they're all very high quality materials. We'll look at some of the materials in specific. So we got carpet, wool, wool, carpet, wool, long pile carpet, and more carpet, and so on. So we've got a lot of fabrics going on there. Glass materials here. So mirrors, fake mirrors, and so on. So if you need tinted glass for your game, they've got it here. Uh, grid materials, so steel grids, and so on. And then we've got ground man-made. So we got things like, uh, what do we got here? It's asphalt, concrete, cobblestone, oh, going the wrong way, pavement, pavement tiles. So obviously you can see where the use comes in here and we're just kind of getting started. You've got natural ground cover, so leaves and grass and stones and so on. We got a number of different leather materials. Let's head on back over to that section. So we've got a number of leathers to work with and marbles. Lots and lots and lots and lots of marble. And we've got another room of lots and lots and lots of marble. And then metals, 
various different metals available. So we got brass over there, bronze, court and steel, heavy metal flake paint, slightly worn copper, and so on. So definitely a nice collection of metals going on here. And then we've got miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is always fun. So we've got cardboard, mostly cardboard. I don't know why they didn't just call this paper and cardboard, but uh, modeling. Here we've got plaster, clay, stone, parquet. Oh, we got a lot. So if you got some parquet floor going on, so you want to do a herringbone tile, you got a nice little herringbone there, oak. So if you want to do flooring that is a nice real world looking floor, we got a number of parquet floors going on. We got a couple of different plastics to work with and it just keeps going. Roof coverings, so a number of different kinds of roofs from tiling, terracotta, a metal roof, metal roofing again. Um, so if you're building real world environments, this is just a, a huge bonanza of stuff. We got a number of different stones. I'm actually surprised there's not more stones. Uh, tiling, we got a fair number of tiles going on. Wall coverings, miscellaneous things like plaster coating, plaster, more plaster, painted, painted wall mat, and so on. And then finally, we have woods, such as old planks, paneling, rough planks, and so on. So that is basically the collection. Now, if you come in here, if you want to check that out yourself, you can go into, once you've added it to your project, you go to Twin Motion Materials, and then, um, that was under levels, that's museum. Now, once again, when you load this, it will create something like 4,000 shaders. So do be aware, it's going to take you some time. And also your materials are available right here in the material browser. So everything is broken down into categories. So if you need yourself a brick material, you come on in here and you see there are a number of bricks to find. And boom, here is how the materials are made, the various different pieces they are composed of. So you can see they've got normal maps, roughness maps, uh, obviously not metallic in this case, a tint map, color map, or color channel, diffuse channel, height map, and so on, all go together to create this material. So if you're actually just going to want individuals, you can actually go ahead and just copy the one or two in that you need, not import the entire eight gigabytes of assets to come to use. But I, I gotta admit, this is a, a pretty nice collection going on. So again, if you want to grab it, it is in the um, Unreal Launcher. So just head on over to the Unreal Engine category, go to the Marketplace, like so and then what we want to do is locate oh god i hate this thing i don't even know where it's going okay we want to come here to search all right this marketplace app completely and utterly sucks i need it to reset here let's just do a maximize there we go so now i can search what you want to do is come in here and search for twin motion or twin mon for some reason I'll just search for twin mo. And then right here, there's the twin motion materials. You just basically go ahead and add to cart right there, completely free purchase. And they're there and yours forever. And then once you want to go ahead, use them, you just find them down here in your library and you can install them. Where did they go? Downside to all these monthly free giveaways is I have so many assets here now. Uh, twin motion right here, and then just go ahead and add it to project. Now, once again, nine gigabytes of disk space is gonna take up, and then it's gonna take up nine gigs in the project that you just installed. And so every time you use them, these are going to take up a fairly substantial amount of space. Another thing to be aware of is uh, I had 4.24 installed on this machine, and they would not actually work until I upgraded to 4.2. 24.2. So if you want to check these out, make sure that you upgrade to the newest version of Unreal Engine 4.24, or you are going to run into problems. Uh, but yeah, that is it. By the way, if you want to go ahead and get rid of them later on, uh, you can actually, um, where did they go? Twin motion. You can, you can click on the I. Oh, wait a minute. Where did it go? Oh, no, click the drop down and they can do remove local content and that will free up your nine gigabytes that you've done. Now, keep in mind, you're still obviously going to have it installed into your various different projects, but this one is going to take up a bit of drive space. But there is a huge number, like I said, over a thousand assets in this pack uh, that are all kind of around, you know, uh, architecture, uh, ground covering, that kind of stuff, the kind of things that you would need to recreate real world scenes. And this is on top of the 10,000 plus high quality mega scan textures we just got released. So if you are working with Unreal Engine these days, you have so many assets available to you right now, it's almost sickening. And since this is all real world assets, it doesn't look all that samey. Um, so if you find yourself using these, you're not going to stand out 
over you know another thing using the same assets because this is straight out real world type materials that you would see anyway so um, it's not going to get recognizable it's not going to feel all flippy anytime soon now i'll be interested to see this this actually doesn't make a whole lot of sense for the way they've got it set up to have to import nine gigabytes of assets to make use of this stuff i would assume that at some point in time what they will do is take all of these assets and merge them into the mega scans library that makes a whole lot more sense to me because then you can pull them in one by one using bridge i got a feeling this is more of a oh, pun not intended bridge maneuver until that can happen but in the meantime if you do need real world textures Hey, another gift here from Epic Games. So I'm curious to hear what you guys think of these ongoing things from Epic. Do, do these giveaways, are they kind of tempting you over to the dark side? Or, no, still not going to be using Unreal Engine anytime soon. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.